morning, folks. It is day two of our Florida Keys send. This time, actually starting off in the Keys this morning. It is a, uh, a chilly, breezy morning here on the bridge. Just stocked up on plenty of live bait. Out here with the Brigantine crew, their first time doing some bridge fishing. This is one of my favorite types of fishing to do anywhere along the East Coast. There's potential to catch literally anything that swims out here from big snappers to grouper, cobia, mackerel, and anything in between. Fishing the Florida Keys bridges can be incredibly, incredibly rewarding. So we got about a mile walk to the center of the bridge. We're gonna set up our spread and we've got decent conditions. Should be a good day of fishing. But before we start fishing, I do wanna give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Set the Hook Long Island, AKA Tide Chasers. But more on that later. All right, folks, made it out here to our spot on the bridge. Had about a mile walk, shout out to PJ, the tackle mule. But we saw a whole bunch of fish being caught on our way over here, mutton snapper, yellow jacks. We got pretty far away from the crowd, so we're gonna set up our spread. Just search around, see what we can catch before we drop down the chum bag and really set up. But uh, let's just jump into the fishing. All right, folks, we brought out the entire setup. We got nine rods, chum bag, multiple pots of chum, plenty of live bait. Before we set up our whole spread, just gonna do some searching around. We picked up eight dozen shrimp down here. Let's grab one of these fatties. Oh yeah, that's an actual mega, mega shrimp right there. Fish this on our light tackle, got a 4,000 size Shimano Stratic, 7.6 Mojo in shore, just pick us up from Rich, Fishaholic, up in Port of St. Lucie on the way down. Should be a perfect combo for the bridge. In terms of our actual rigging, we got 15 pound fluorocarbon here, a one ounce egg sinker above our swivel, and uh, taking that down to a little 1 0 hook. So, gonna bait our shrimp in the tail right here. And there we go, first bait of the day. Let's give it a cast. All right, folks, so we're fishing a pretty good current here. We got the current flowing from the Atlantic to the Gulf, which is my favorite current to fish out here on the bridge. The fish will stack up on this side, underneath the road bridge, which adds some more structure. All right, let's rip this down underneath there. All right, so just let that live shrimp twitch along the bottom. Already getting a little bite. Just gonna hold on to our spool here. Ready to freeline it if we get bit. Probably gonna get hit up by a bunch of junk fish. But searching for some mud snapper, yellow jacks, any decent fish we can land to take home maybe for dinner. Drew and PJ are getting rigged up over there. So let's just bounce around and see if we can, can't find some fish. There's a fish. We're on. Yellow jack, yellow jack. There we go. One hand bridge fishing. There we go, baby. That's the first keeper of the day right there. Hell yeah, baby. We got dinner now, buddy. All right, there we go, folks. That didn't take long. Second cast of the day. First fish of the day. Beautiful little yellow jack right here. These guys are delicious eating. One of the most popular fish to catch off the Keys bridges here in the winter time. And uh, that didn't take too long. One live shrimp. And we got ourselves a little dinner. Whew. So yo, the key, if you're not getting bit right away, that's good. It means there's not a lot of junk fish around. Just let it sit. That fish hit once. I didn't even know he was on there. And then I just reeled in because I thought I lost my bait. I keep getting junk fished. Yeah. All right, there we go. Drew's on the board. A whopper. First catch of the day. A little yellowtail, a little bit undersized. See ya. All right, let's get another shrimp down there. Really putting that broken hand to use. There's one yellow jack, there's typically a bunch more, so let's get another cast out where we got that guy from. I'm gonna get a big fish over there. I just don't have the patience to wait right now. That's a good fish, good fish. Trying to get my sandwich. Good fish. Good fish. We got 15 pound test on here. But gotta get these fish in. There could be a lot of sharks around. Definitely better fish. No, 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 no. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Dude, mutton's that big one. Oh, it's a little mutton. Short mutton. There we go. 
First mud of the day, a little like 15 inch there probably. All right, there we go, folks. The second, I decided to leave my rod, grab my sandwich. Second fish today, shore mud. Send him back on this side. There he goes. He's doing all right, so. Always try to release him away from where you caught him in case it drew in any sharks. But, uh, boom. Maybe 10 minutes after we caught the yellow jack, short mud on the board. Hopefully get some keepers today, but uh, that was definitely a fun fight. Whew. Haven't even dropped the chum bag in yet. BJ's on. Got some. Yellow Jack. There we go, baby. Woo! First Yellow Jack. Let's go. All right, there we go. BJ's on the board with his first ever Yellow Jack. <laughs> Hell yeah. Got two. It's a nice beachy for the boys. Oh, there's a bite. Another yellow jack. No, he snapped me off. Damn, dude. I guess I got. Oh no, he just spit the hook. Bummer. Should be some more down there though. I'm just walking up and down the bridge, I'm looking for eddies behind these bridge pylons where the current kind of slacks up and that's where these fish are coming in to save energy and eat while they wait in the current so just casting my shrimp out there let it sit along the bottom waiting for someone to pick it up get a lot of little junk fish bites but the second someone starts to take line that's when i close the bail and uh set the hook pretty simple fishing and can be pretty fun as long as there's a consistent bite Cap micro. A hogfish, no? No way, a hogfish. That's so cool, bro. That's awesome. There we go, dude. That's pretty sweet. Little hogfish right there. That's your first ever, right? Yeah. That's awesome. Such a pretty looking fish. So beautiful. Out of season and a little small, so send him back. All right, congrats, bro. Ooh. Good fish. Get it, PJ. Oh my god. That's a Goliath, yeah. On Adam, on Adam. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Boom, there we go. Woo! That's a catch right there, bro. On the shrimp, huh? There we go, baby. Let's go. That's a little juvenile gag, bro. It's a gag or not? I mean, a juvenile Goliath. That's These guys get to like a thousand pounds, bro. That's sick. Man, I mean, choke that. Boom, there he goes. All right, flick him up and send him back. There we go. That is so sick. I have never caught one of those off the bridge before. Sweet catch, Pete. Breaking the skunk. All right, protected species. There he goes. Hell yeah, bro. Woo. Killing it today. Oh. <laughs> That's like the six species of the day so far. Pretty cool catch there on the live shrimp. Pete just got a, uh, a nice goliath. So obviously, <laughs> <laughs> the rival sea protected species had to send them back, but definitely a cool catch nonetheless. You. Reel's pretty shot. What's up with it? You just won't tighten. Tighten it the wrong way, bro. Oh, you just got bit. Again? Oh my god, you're on. Huh? You're on, you're on. Just hold that bail. Hold that spool. What the hell did you do that? <laughs> His reel's broke. His reel's broke. I got you, I got you. Just reel, just reel. I'll handline it. I got you, I got you. Reel, reel, reel. I got you. Little mud. This is so boof. <laughs> There we go. Real broke, but we got him. Little mite, buddy. There we go. Thank you. Yes, sir. There he goes. Little mud.
All right, folks, spent about the last hour and a half just pitching live shrimp around. Definitely had a good morning so far, but we brought a bunch more rods out here as well as a chum bag. So just dropped the chum bag in a couple minutes ago. In addition to picking up eight dozen shrimp this morning, we picked up a half dozen pinfish, got a free bonus crab, and we also got half dozen fresh bellies. That's gonna grab on our belly here, right here. Just send out a little one inch chunk. Just getting our ballyhoo chunk here, bringing it through the body. We've got a couple setups out here. This rod, well, just for fishing the keys. 4,000 size Shimano Bait Runner DC on a 7.6 Tsunami Carbon Shield. Let's cast this rod out on the chum slick. See if we have attracted any fish. So there's our chum bag. Just want to cast as far back as we can. It's a super long leader, so it might not be easy. There we go. Put it in bait run mode. And uh, hope, hopefully get crushed. All right, time to send out another rod. We got some primo sized pinfish in here. That is an absolute snack. Let's just try and nuke this guy to the back. There we go. Send that bait out on the chum slick. You're on. Looks good. Little mud. There we go. Please, little dink mud. They're chewing. All right, and on this round, we'll cast out a little ballyhoo head. Really setting up a decent spread over here. Looking for some hopefully bigger snappers. There's a fish, there's a fish. Just got bit here, I might have missed him. Oh, he's still there. That's a fish. What is that? Big yellow jack on the dead stick shrimp. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Woohoo! Yeah, baby! Oh, oh, oh. There you go. PJ's doubled up. And there we go, PJ's got another species for the day. Is that a gag? Juvenile gag. Yeah. Maybe black root, but I can't really tell. Yeah. Sweet, bud. All right, there we go, folks. Another yellow jack for the dinner table right there. Steady pick of these guys today. Been out of the bridge for a couple hours now and have no complaints whatsoever. I think we've caught maybe seven, eight species so far. Tons of variety out here, tons of steady action. Still waiting for our big fish ticket, but sitting about halfway through the bridge stand here, it's probably a good time to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is Set the Hook Long Island, AKA Tide Chasers. They're the company that makes this shirt, as well as a bunch of other uh, sweatshirts and shirts that I wear out fishing. It's very breathable fabric. Rated for UV 50, and I think it looks pretty good out here in the bridge. Kind of camouflage, got the uh, the sweet striped bass pattern on there. So huge shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. They've got a wide selection of products on their website, so if you're interested in checking anything out, I'll put a little link in the description. So you can support me by supporting the companies that support me. I really appreciate that. So let's get back to the fishing. Been a good day so far. Let's keep the tide rolling. Yo. There we go. Another one bites the dust. Boom! There we go. That's what a lot of people come out to catch down here in the Keys in the winter time. Those are yellow jacks. They're unregulated, no limit for them, but they are an absolutely delicious fish. Probably gonna go home and make some ceviche with them later. We got five in the cooler so far. Catching a bunch of other species, but everything's undersized and out of season so far. But no complaints. Yellow jacks are a, del are a Florida Keys delicacy. They will absolutely be enjoyed later tonight. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. That's a better fish. Away from the bridge, away from the bridge. Yellow Jack. We're on a Yellow Jack clinic out here today. Woohoo! Yellow Jack. Oh, you got a hogfish, bro? There we go, folks. A little double up right there. A little, little Yellow Jack for me. Drew got himself a hogfish. Sure. This guy's gonna make it to dinner. That guy's going back in the water. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, there's, like, snags out there. there's a lot, a lot of snags, especially that way. Fish. 
There we go, Dro. Probably a hog or a grouper is my guess. The way it went right in the rocks like that. Could be a good snapper. Mud. Oh yeah, a little mud. Baby mud. Another short mud. Yes, sir. Still looking for that keeper. I just got picked up here on the pinfish. <laughs> and that was a shark. All right, folks, and that's gonna be a wrap for this pretty sweet day on the bridge. Definitely had a good start this morning with that incoming current. But after that current slowed down, the bite really shut down. We didn't have anywhere near the amount of life we had earlier in the day. I did try soaking pinfish for a couple hours without any big takers. Had one shark bite us off, but uh, unsuccessful on that front. Picked up plenty of yellow jacks we're gonna go home and cook up for dinner. Also had a bunch of other species landed. Mutton snapper, hogfish. PJ caught the first ever Goliath grouper I've seen off the bridge, as well as a ton of other smaller species. So it was my first day fishing the Keys Bridges on this trip. I'll definitely be back here soon. Looking for that keeper mutton that we were unsuccessful in catching today. But hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Gonna be out on the boat tomorrow doing some fun fishing. Don't know if I'll film, we'll see. Before we sign off, I wanna give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Set the Hook Long Island, AKA Tide Chasers. Again, I'll put a little link in the description if you guys are interested in any of the apparel they offer. So huge shout out to them for sponsoring the video. You guys can support me by supporting the companies that support me. And that's gonna be all folks. Never end the send. What a beautiful end to the day here in the Keys.